Holy moly! Hey guys, Kaylee here and welcome back to the Honeystead. It is March and guess what? Spring's coming. And since the majority of our bees survived the winter, there's a few things that I need to do to prepare myself for what's to come. One of the things that I need to worry about and we'll probably be doing this this week, I'm just waiting for the temperature to be about 60 degrees to actually get into my colonies and start splitting them and creating nukes from all of those. There's something else that I can do that doesn't involve me opening up our colonies and exposing them to the cold and the wind. Today's about 50 degrees, so I don't necessarily wanna open them up, but I know that there's stuff that I could be doing to help just in case, and one of those is swarm traps. So we're gonna set up some swarm traps today using some old comb and a few of our nuke boxes. Uh, real talk real quick. So I have noticed that a lot of people I'm getting into my greenhouse because the wind is starting to pick up a little bit. When you go on the internet and you search setting up your swarm trap, I'm telling you what, you're gonna find probably a thousand different ways to do it. So I have seen setting these beautiful swarm traps up where you're using a deep and you put it up in the tree and the bees go in it. Like we've even experienced where bees will just come right in and just take over an empty colony, which is the best swarm that you could possibly get because it's a free home. It's right there and it's magic when it happens. It's truly astonishing. So I have two hives that I set up right in my apiary where they are just free to come in and move in if they please. Now we're gonna put a couple of them up around our farm, but I wanted to share with you guys that people do it all different ways. I recommend trying whatever you want. You know, the thing about bees are they're gonna find a place, they're gonna find a home, and they're gonna move in. Whether that is a old dilapidated hive that's been left in a field for years, <laughs> unattended by any beekeeper, or in a pillar, or in a tree, or in a house. What I've seen that's worked the best for us is setting up traps using old comb. I prefer swarms over anything. I, there, you can't, as a beekeeper, it is so exciting to get a phone call that there are bees that need to be rescued. But what I found, our swarms are really, really hardy. And if you guys get an opportunity to set your traps up, I really recommend you doing it, whether it's on your property or calling some friends and setting it up at their house. So what I like to do is I like to fill up our boxes, our new boxes that we're gonna use the swarm traps with old comb. Uh, older the better. I did forget one important thing, and that is ratchet straps. So I'm gonna have to go back and get some ratchet straps and secure it to this tree. It looks pretty good here. I'll let you look. So 
so that is, I have one, two, three, four, five, Couple more to go. Let's do it. Okay, <laughs> I know I've said this in the past, but oh my goodness, I am so thankful that I am not afraid of heights. All right, we have one more to do. This one I wanted to do something just a little bit different. We still did place the swarm trap south facing. However, I put it into the woods just a little bit. So that is about all of the swarm traps that we're gonna place today. There's something that I wanted to share with you guys is I don't want you to be intimidated when you're looking up how to do this. I remember when I first started looking up how to catch swarms, I remember coming across so many different methods, so many different techniques, so many different styles of traps, of swarmler, of all of it, and other things that you can purchase to, to try to catch swarms. But what I've found is old nuke boxes that you have left, left over, and old drawn out comb probably work the best. And it's stuff that I have here already. It's free. I don't have to buy anything. I don't have to make anything. It's just stuff laying around. So if you, if you end up getting nukes, save the boxes. You can use them as swarm traps. You can use them as splits. You can use them as whatever. Do not get rid of them. And your old comb, put it aside in the freezer. And when you're ready for it, set it out. See what happens. Next year we might try something new. I'm not sure. We'll see. That's that's the beauty of of this is if you come across it, if you try to overthink it, it can be a lot more intimidating than what it is. I'll keep you guys posted on our swarm traps and fingers crossed we will catch a few swarms and hopefully be able to help relocate them and give them to some of our dear friends that are waiting for bees themselves. Don't forget to ask a few friends about setting traps up at their locations. I'm sure a lot of people really wouldn't mind you just have to ask. Thank you guys for watching and as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old. <laughs>